Hi there, welcome to the Billings Public Library, Harry Potter, Take and Make, Wand Making Tutorial. And we're going to take a quick look at some of the things that are in the kit. We're not going to show you everything uh, because we want it to be a surprise, but in the Take and Make kit, you're going to get a little bag of tiny things. And one of those tiny things is a little itty bitty flu powder label, which you're going to cut out. Be careful when you open up the little bag because there's a lot of little pieces in there. But you're going to cut out that little tiny label and you're going to get something that looks like that. And what you're going to do with it is you're going to stick that label using some glue onto your vial of flu powder. Okay. And also in that little baggie is a little eye screw. Okay, and it looks just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna screw that eye screw into your flu powder vial. Okay, so be really careful. And also what I recommend you do before you start wearing your flu powder necklace is to take the cork out, put a little bit of glue on it, and then put it back in. That way when you're wearing your flu powder, your cork doesn't pop out and your flu powder vial doesn't fall. Okay, one other thing you need to know about the flu powder necklace is on this eye screw, the opening is not quite big enough for this jump ring to go through. So what you might need to do, and you may need help with this, is to get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers and you'll lift the eye screw open, okay? Just like that. That way it'll fit right onto the cord, just like this, okay? Make sure you lift the screw. Don't try to pull them apart because it's easier to push the screw back down than it is to try to push them together again, okay? Also in that itty bitty bag is gonna be a marble. Now my marble was white and I used it in my wand craft. So the kit is not gonna have everything that you'll need to make the wands. It will include a paintbrush, it will include a chopstick, but you're going to need some of your own supplies and most importantly, your imagination. Now what I've done with my chopstick is I've added a unicorn hair. And I don't know if you can see how shiny that is, but it's really pretty. And on my other chopstick, I had added a dragon heart string. And that was a little thin piece of copper wire I had. So you can look around your house and use some found items. I'm not going to use the marble again in the kit because I've used it already, but I did find a stone that I like. So I'm going to use those things to make my wand. Also what you're going to need is either air bake or air dry clay, which is what I used to make this wand, or hot glue, and I have my hot glue gun here or you can use both of those items. And there's other ways to construct your wand, but you're going to need one of those two items. Now this wand I used hot glue on and it turned out really well. And that's what we're gonna use today. Since the air dry clay takes a little bit of time to set up, we're gonna use hot glue. Um, the nice thing about hot glue is it doesn't take very long to construct your wand. The nice thing about the air dry clay, it's pretty cheap at the craft stores and it really allows you to spend more time molding your wand into the shape you want. And this is your wand, so you want it to be special. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start at the very top of our wand and I'm just gonna put a dab of hot glue there and I'm going to add my special stone. I don't think I like the way I put it on there, so I'm gonna maybe add it a different way. I'm gonna put my hot glue on again here. 
and you do have to be really careful with your hot glue. I'm going to put my stone on vertically rather than horizontally like I had it. Okay, there we go. All right, now I've got my topper on. You're going to be using your marble or something special that you found around the house, and I'm going to use my little stone here. And then we're just going to start adding hot glue. You want to make sure your special item at the top of your wand is secured there. All right. And you're just going to keep adding hot glue. Sorry, my camera's not focusing really well. There we go. Okay, one other thing to remember when you're making these wands is make sure that you lay down some paper over your workspace. That way you don't get your workspace messy because we're also going to be using some paint later on. Also, you want to make sure that you wear your paint shirt or your craft apron when you're doing this because if you get hot glue or paint on your clothes, it's going to be really hard, if not impossible, to get out. Okay, and you can see I'm just keep, I just keep on adding more and more glue. And you need to be really patient and give that glue some time to dry or to cool in this case because the glue is hot, you don't want to touch it. So once you get down to the very bottom of your wand, you might have to set your wand aside for a few minutes and let it cool. I'm using a lot of hot glue for my wand. You can use as much or as little as you feel you need to. And I'm gonna get real close into the camera here so you can see. I just keep adding that hot glue on. Be really, really careful, okay? Isn't that pretty? It looks almost like a icicle. Okay, now I am done adding the hot glue to my wand. And you can see that some of the glue down here is cooler and I can hold my wand in order to finish adding the hot glue to the end. Now that hot glue is still really warm, so you're gonna need to put it aside and let it completely cool before you're ready to add your paint. Okay, now for paint, what you're gonna want is an acrylic paint. You don't need a large jar like what I have. You can just get a small tube. And I went with regular brown, but your wand can be any color you want. It's your wand. And you don't need a lot of paint. When I painted, I just used what was in the lid from when I shook the paint. Okay, and all of your kits are gonna include a paintbrush. And I used the same color of brown for these two wands. And here's the marble that I used that came from my kit. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? And I think what I might go back and do is add some sparkles because I would like a really sparkly wand. And then make sure when you are adding your paint to just put one thin layer on, let it dry and then add a second thin layer. You don't need a lot of paint at one time. In fact, your wand will look better if you use just a little bit of paint at a time. Okay, and that's all there is to making your wand. I'm gonna wait for this to cool and I'm gonna go back and paint it. And then I'm gonna be ready for some magical wand action. Okay, thank you for watching our tutorial, and I hope you enjoy the Harry Potter Take and Make Kits.